Hello everyone, thank you for being here and I hope everybody's keeping well. Welcome to Park Bench Whispers, my name's Debbie. We are asking today who is coming towards you in love and romance, companionship or even friendship for you. Now we have three piles to choose from. Pile one is on the left and you have Phoenix, that's with the rock quartz crystals. Pile two is in the middle, you have the chariot, that's with carnelian. Pile three is on the right and you have the world energy and that's with the garnet crystals. All the timestamps are in the description box including the two questions to the universe and we will be asking for guidance for you for any situation on your mind and I'll see you all in your reading. Hello everybody, welcome to your questions to the universe. Let's clear that energy, just get that flowing and let's give it a shuffle. Hold that first question in your mind. Thank you, universe. Please help everybody with question one on their mind. Oh, lovely. We have the three of pentacles. It's a yes for question one. It could be around teamwork. It could be talking or communicating. And a few key words are commitment, building on success or collaboration. So that's a yes for question one. Let's clear that energy. Let's just give it one more shuffle. And hold that thought for question two. Thank you, universe. Please help everybody with question two on their mind. Wow. Then now that one flipped. Wow. We have the ace of swords. That's a big yes from the universe. A truthful energy, perhaps clarity. And a few key words are new ideas, new plans, a victory or success or mental clarity. So that's a yes for question two as well. I hope that's helped everybody and I will see you all in your piles. Hello pile one, welcome to your reading today on who is coming towards you in love and romance and of course that can extend to friendship and companionship as well. Now you have felt drawn towards the phoenix energy which is number 23 three no beg your pardon it's number 25 now it says on here be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis this is very much rising again isn't it you know like rising from the ashes here for a new rebirth or a new beginning very fiery determined energy 25 could be of some significance as well and we have the lovely rock quartz crystals with us today so I feel let's start with your oracle card pile one let's just get it moving get that energy moving and flowing wow what do we have Ooh, we'll take both of those open yourself to others and forgive and release now the message on open yourself to others is this is how you will create new friendships and attract a love relationship Forgive and release is you are stronger when you carry love and forgiveness rather than anger. Well, that really ties into that phoenix energy, doesn't it? Like rising again, opening yourself for a new chapter, creating absolutely new friendships, new companionships to attract the love and romance. Now, let's get your person's energy. We have the coffin. This is actually an ending and a new beginning. It's like a rebirth. So this person is going through a change, a transition of growth, perhaps ending one cycle and about to begin a new chapter. And it obviously will be connected to many areas of their life if it's the coffin energy. So it's like that world energy, you know, where we really transition across, looking at our future. We have Saturn, which is limits and lessons. Well, what I always love about the Saturn energy, it's regarded as wisdom, you know, structure and absolutely ambition. So I do feel this person is in a transition. You know, they are very much perhaps trying to restructure some areas of their life and they are looking for love. That's the key part here, isn't it? 
and with your advice from your oracles the angels are saying here you know open yourself up now you're in that phoenix energy forgive and release and move forward in your own new strength we have the five of swords we have the knight of cups the four of cups and the five of pentacles well that's that end of that transition and at the bottom we have the three of pentacles it's communication growth expansion getting to know each other a lot of earth energy as well so they could have that in their chart I'm just going to move those up for you by one so that you can see hopefully the bottom deck as well let me move that up there we are the three of pentacles I was just mentioning is about getting together, talking, collaborating. It could most definitely be a friendship around you or a colleague friendship. Maybe there's romance blossoming at the moment between some of you. But what it really is, is about moving forward, you know, shining really, I would say, for the right outcome for what everybody wants. That's what I always love about that energy. The Five of Swords is the clarity again coming in from the confusion from the transition. It can also mean conflict, confusion, perhaps tension. But what I feel particularly within their energy, because we've got the Five there and the Five there, and we had that Coffin energy and Saturn, I mean, that really speaks volumes about transition. So I do feel they are gaining clarity on their future. They wasn't sure, though, about that with that Five of Pentacles. They're not too sure about this love. You know, how am I going to do this? How am I going to move forward? Because you can see from that Four of Cups, they have been let down or even removed themselves from love and romance for a while. Because you see the universe source is handing a fourth cup, but I don't feel this person has been particularly interested in romance. For some of you, this could be someone that you have known where there has been conflict between the two of you as well. And the reason I say that is because you've got forgiven release and you're rising again with that phoenix energy. But I don't feel that is for a lot of you. What I really feel this person's energy for you who's coming towards you is in that Saturn energy. That's the first and foremost energy, which is restructuring what was wrong and restructuring on the regards to what they would like to collaborate and move forward with. The Knight of Cups is them taking action in regards to how they feel. It's not overly fast. You know, I feel because of what this person's been through, I feel gradually over time you will open up to each other. Now we know that Knight of Cups is also about talking. It's about meeting up. It's about taking action on something they want to create with you. Now that is that coffin energy and let's remind ourselves it's new beginnings you see. It is growth and change but it's a new beginning for the both of you even if you do know this person because they are releasing a situation that wasn't working well even if that was in connection with you or if it was a connection from a previous situation. If it was with you they definitely want to clear that. Because the Five of Pentacles is not a very, you know, comfortable energy. We don't particularly enjoy being in that. It's where we almost don't see where the doorway is. What is the future bringing me? So we do know they've been assessing their future within that Saturn energy. And they're ready for expansion and a brand new beginning. What I always love about that Knight of Cups as well, it's like moving gently. Very cautious, very gently opening up, getting to know each other, perhaps forgiving each other if it was a previous connection. But the thing is, because you're in that Phoenix energy, you're really ready, you know. And it says there, be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. Well, this could be this connection for some of you. In some way, it's renewing, you know, because they know how they feel. This is someone who has perhaps missed you. You know, they've got regrets. They're thinking about you. They've got emotions for you. But that's why they're in the Saturn. It's the limits and the lessons. So they have learned through this experience what is good, what is not. That's why the main emphasis here is that Three of Pentacles, really raising the vibration between the both of you, having that conversation, opening up. Let's find out a lot more, Pile One. Thank you, universe. Please clarify Pile One's person's energy. 
we have Temperance, we have the Empress, the Three of Swords, but that really confirms it, doesn't it? And the Three of Cups. And what do we have at the bottom of this deck? The Two of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like they've been thinking about you a bit unsure which way this is going to go. There's like two directions juggling, you know, what should we do? So I would say they have been holding back for sure with that Five of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Because they've been unsure of perhaps how you may receive them. What will be your opinion of them? Would you be welcoming to them? Of course, that's for those of you who feel this could be someone that you are connected to. For others of you, if this is not a person you're connected to, this Two of Pentacles simply means, you know, they're juggling their pathway forward. They're learning through that life lessons, you see wondering which pathway should I go and of course we do have the infinity loop if we turn it that way to so some extent this is kind of a destined connection temperance is Sagittarius as well so they could have Sagittarius in their chart but also what this represents is the balance and calm and the intention that they want to bring towards this situation because now I've seen this bottom row, I'm actually feeling for more of you. This is someone that you are connected to in some way. It's about bringing peace, very blessed energy, very gentle energy. And we even have that again with Empress underneath the Knight of Cups. The Empress, as we know, embodies many energies. It's about nurturing going forward, very caring, very nurturing in regards to how they want to expand and grow. That's why maybe this distance has brought about this clarity in regards to what they feel going forward with that Knight of Cups. Again, this could be their impression of you, is how they view you, very caring, very nurturing, and that's why they want to express how they feel, because there's something about your connection that they feel very much in tune with you. Because underneath that Four of Cups, you can see we've got the Three of Swords. Well, for a lot of you, this recognises the distance between you, the sadness, the heartbreak, the separation or the confusion. That's why they miss you. There is some kind of regret pile one within their energy that they wish they hadn't taken. And the reason I say that again is because of that Saturn which is limits and lessons. The Three of Cups is a celebration. You know, this is a raising in how you feel, celebrating your emotions, perhaps becoming happier, becoming more talkative, getting up, meeting together. It could be you communicating together because what their main emphasis is they want to move out of that five of pentacles and to create some kind of happiness, a raising in how you feel going forward because this person connected to you very much misses you. Now what I feel quite synchronicity between the both of you, you're in the phoenix which is rising after a difficult chapter. They also have forgive and release. And they also are saying, open up to others. This is how you will create the new friendships and attract the love. There has been a lesson learnt here from your person, whatever that is for you, whether they're in your life or not, they have learnt their lesson and now want to move forward and collaborate and move forward and gently open up and get to know you. I feel we should get your advice. let's just give your deck a shuffle thank you universe what is your advice for pile one regarding this connection please and how will they feel about this going forward we have the nine of pentacles very powerful potential the nine of pentacles first and foremost is about your potential here or perhaps the potential that you may feel within this connection the six of wands which is success the Queen of Cups is how you feel. You're very independent. Maybe you're quite like very highly skilled within your job role. It's almost like perhaps what's knocked you back didn't affect you on the outside, but inwardly that did. Very high potential here. Because the Nine of Pentacles is about your stability, you know, it's about your faint foundation on what you want to create and going forward. But what always draws my attention is the parrot there. 
Now, parrots are about communication, talking, repeatedly talking. So I do feel you are open to talking, discussing, clearing that energy for success with that six of wands, which is a success and a victory. But also, Pile One, this does represent bringing peace into the situation because of the two reefs. But I feel the universe is saying here is to follow your heart with this, with that Queen of Cups. You must follow what is right for you because at the end of the day, only you know what's right for you because you've got a big heart. You've got a love, love to give, very caring, very nurturing. Well, that draws me back to the Empress. So I do feel that is how they view you. Because that Queen of Cups is you on your throne. You know how you feel inside. And it has been difficult because of those ripples. So that is your advice. Absolutely just follow forward with what you feel is right. Because what you do have coming in is success. And a lot of conversations and high potential. Let's just get your advice with your oracle. Wow. We have hearing messages from spirit. I am clear. I am a clear channel for messages from spirit. You are being guided. Now that's that phoenix rising from the ashes after a challenging time, a difficult time. So I wouldn't be surprised if you're receiving synchronicities, maybe messages in your dreams or even repetitive numbers because they're working with you on this pile one to bring that resolution that you both clearly want. Have enjoyed your reading for you. Thank you so much for being here. Take care, everyone, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading today on who is coming towards you in love and romance. And, of course, that does extend to friendship and companionship as well. You have felt drawn towards the number six, the chariot energy, and your message is charge ahead with confidence, stay strong and focused. And we also have the lovely carnelian crystals here. We know the chariot is a decision, you know, it's like that mindset, the change in your mind, moving forward perhaps after a difficult time or maybe an energy where you removed yourself from romance. The decision has been made by you, charging ahead now with confidence and the universe is saying here to stay strong and focused. Let's get your oracle pile too. Oh, now that definitely wants to come out. Let go of the control. I beg your pardon. Let go of the need to control. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. That's an interesting energy. And I totally understand that. Because when we are beginning a new relationship or a new friendship, it's very hard to let go of that, isn't it? Because we're feeling that kind of anxiety when we start. Now let's get your person's energy. We have soulmates, wow, soul connection, partnership, an agreement and a soul contract. To some extent, this is fated, isn't it? Let's get their last oracle. We have the first house, I believe, self and identity. That's absolutely what we do in the first house. You know, we're kind of like going within to recognise what do we want? How do I identify? How would I like to move forward? How do I like to be seen? What do I want in life? So there is a big change here for this person for you. And they feel this is a soulmate connection. This is like a destined, kind of like a soul contract between the both of you. And with your confidence moving forward with the chariot, I am wondering whether you might feel that over time. Once you perhaps let go of that slight anxiety and allow you both, both of you to perhaps just to unfold naturally, get to know each other over time. The energy for pile two's person, please, universe. We have the Queen of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Fool. There we go. That's that new beginning. That's that transition. And what do we have at the bottom? The Eight of Pentacles. This is about teamwork, really, growing, you know, putting that hard work in for expansion and growth. They could definitely have Earth in their chart.
It could very well be your person's a very hard worker, perhaps career orientated, perhaps they're focused on their stability and their finances. Well, that would make sense, wouldn't it, within that first house? But we're starting off pile two with the Queen of Swords, really determined, a lot of focus, a lot of clarity. There may have been confusion, but there isn't now. That's why we're there in that first house. Now, the Five of Pentacles, again, it's about their energy, perhaps, where they didn't quite know what the future was holding for them. They may have removed themselves from romance or even friendships. Again, this is connected to the first house. Now, I feel, particularly because that's that earth energy, is this someone, for some of you, that you are working with or it's a friend of yours, and their energies is back and forth. They're coming in, then we're withdrawing it. It's almost like a bit of a to and fro. Because what the thing is with that Queen of Swords, pal, too, they do have the handout. You know, they're welcoming a conversation. They want to get to know you. They want to open up towards you because it is something they felt confused about, but they don't now. But the problem for them at the moment is they're not sure how this is going to move forward. That's why it just sprung in my mind. I wondered whether some of you, this is someone that is a friend of yours, overstepping that mark into romance could have caused that tension. Because the Five of Wands, again, is about competition, tension, worry. And it's about that fiery energy, which is the passion. So I feel they've been frustrated in terms of the feelings they've got for you. But the thing is, that's about to change because there's a big dynamic about to change with that Fool. They are going to take a leap of faith here. Now, that Fool, as we know, has the White Rose, which represents freedom. It's a new beginning here. Now, their feelings for you, if this is someone in your life, is really strong. But of course, for some of you, this is a brand new person about to enter your life. And once you get to know each other over time, maybe the struggle is both of you in the beginning. Letting the need of the control to go, you know, allowing just to unfold naturally. I feel you both might initially have a bit of a problem with that. But that will subside and they are going to leap. The The fall is a brand new beginning, a brand new chapter. And because you're in the chariot, we know you're ready. You're moving forward with a decision that you've got. So this reading, I feel, is split. It is for some of you, someone who is connected to you. For others of you, this is a, a brand new person entering your life. We have the Queen of Va the Wands. We have Justice, the Six of Wands, and Temperance. And at the bottom of this deck, we have the Ten of Swords. Well, the Ten of Swords is the end of a cycle. It's the end of the worry, the confusion, the letdown, the disappointment this person may have been through in the past. But the thing is, it was also a blessing in disguise because that's the symbol there. Now, I'm wondering, for example, if this is a someone who is brand new that you're going to be meeting, I feel in their recent past, there was a big letdown where they felt disappointed. So there could be an initial struggle within them to open up and gain trust. But I honestly feel it's very similar to you. So in that way, you're quite a good match because you'll learn together to trust each other, to open up to each other and let go of that control because that's how you're both going to feel secure and safe going forward. But for others of you, if it is someone that you feel you might be connected to, this Ten of Swords is saying they want it to end. They want to move on. They want to forget that, move on. And that's why we have that full energy. For all of you, underneath that Queen of Swords, we've got the Queen of Wands, which is creation, focus. We've got the Sunflower there, which represents bringing peace into the situation, bringing friendship into the situation. But we have that large staff, as we know, it's the passion, it's the drive. So what I'm really pleased, overall for you, Pile 2, they're not looking back, they're looking forward. And what they're very much coming in towards you with is fairness and balancing and equality with justice, which is Libra energy. 
that could be in regards to their past because let's think about it how do we know we need to bring justice into a situation is because of some way we've been treated or perhaps the way we treated someone that's why I know this is pure they want to bring equality and fairness and balance on a situation if this person's in your life already. But of course, if they're not in your life, it's simply because they wasn't treated fairly. So it's a high priority. But what I do love those, we've got that six of wands underneath that five of wands. Again, this is creating success. They feel this has got a lot of potential. They would like this to be successful. And we do have two reefs as well, which is an energy of bringing peace and security. So again, it's about being validated by each other, gaining that trust over time, walking the same pathway together to really bring about that security that you're both looking for. Temperance is Sagittarius, so they could have that in their chart. Temperance is about balancing of the emotions, maybe allowing each other to be patient, allowing each other the space that is needed to grow and expand underneath that full energy. It's about balancing on how you feel with your emotions, allowing yourself to perhaps let go of that need of control and for them to perhaps let go of the doubts and fears. Let's get your advice, Pile 2. Let's see how you feel about this a lot more. Thank you, Universe. Please give the energy for Pile 2 regarding this connection. And how will they feel about this going forward? Oh, lovely. We've got the Emperor. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. And we have the Six of Pentacles. Well, that's a yes, yes, yes. Because what we have with the Emperor, this is Aries energy. You could have Aries in your chart. You're really focused now. Now, you're not only moving forward with the chariot decision with your mind. You're feeling it inside now. You're feeling that fiery belly. Do you know what I mean? You're really getting that determination. Now, the Emperor, as we know, is like a boss energy, really taking control. You may very well work with this person or it's a friendship Again, it is representative of the perhaps the need to let go of control, though. I will say that. It's allowing the situation to unfold naturally, which you may find difficult initially, which is what I felt. You won't lose control, Pile 2. What it is, is just loosening the reins to allow the flow of how you both move moving forward. I can see you're going to be taking action with the Knight of Pentacles slowly but surely. You're really going to open up. You're going to get that foundation and this is all about you gaining that trust going forward because the universe is saying here there's expansion, there's equality. You know, it's really balanced going forward between the both of you because we do have the scales there which represents the generosity and the equality in terms of time. Perhaps allowing each other the space and time needed for it to grow and expand over time. Oh, your oracle really flew out there. Coming into power, I step into my power boldly and confidently. This is your new beginning. And you are definitely coming into your power with the chariot and the emperor. You will feel stronger, pile two, over time. You will feel more connected to this person. Trust will be gained. You will open up with conversations because you're both wanting it, you see. It's not very unequal. It's actually quite equal. The only issue, I feel, is going to be the control and very much with them too. But over time, that will change. Thank you so much for being here, Pile 2. I do hope that's resonated for you and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Hello Pile 3, welcome to your reading today on who is coming towards you in love and romance and of course that does extend to friendship and companionship for some of you who are looking for that too. You have felt drawn towards the world energy which is number 36 and your message is be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life and we also have the lovely garnet crystals here. 
We know that world is about the ending of one chapter or ending of a mindset, beginning the new cycle here, believing in yourself, embracing the lessons or the experiences, but yet leaving behind what doesn't work for us. So I do feel you are ready for a brand new chapter. And of course, your messages be open to new possibilities. So let's start with your oracle. Oh, wow. We have free yourself. You don't need to be in a control of everything for a love relationship to be successful. Well, I really feel you do recognize that because you're in the world energy. Allowing yourself the freedom, the mind space here to allow it just to unfold naturally for a love relationship to work. Let's get your person's energy. We have lightning. Sudden change, shocking news, a surprise, an epiphany and transformation. What I always love about the lightning energy, it's like a sudden change. Unexpected meeting, an unexpected action. Let's get their last oracle. Oh, what do we have there? We have the eighth house, transformation and mystery. Again, it's like that world energy transforming from one situation to another, mysterious. So for some of you, it could be someone who is already attracted to you with that mysterious energy. Let's get the tarot pile three and we'll get their energy flowing. Sorry if you can hear the rain. It's a really big downpour here at the moment. The energy for pile three's person, please, universe. Who is coming towards pile three in love and romance? We have the three of cups. The four of wands. The ace of wands. And the two of cups, pile three. That's lovely. What do we have at the bottom? The knight of swords. Action communication a sudden change well that ties in brilliantly to that lightening energy you see this could very well be that it's someone you're going to suddenly meet you open up you grow together and you might initially feel that's a little bit daunting here with that free yourself but you'll soon see over time you'll recognize that to free yourself means to actually liberate yourself because you're ready with that world energy the Knight of Swords is air energy, so they could have air in their chart. But it's also about a sudden communication, fast action, really clarifying perhaps what they want to say, getting to know each other. So again, this could be conversations, suddenly meeting someone, perhaps on online or even someone in your life for some of you. Because the Three of Cups is where they really want to celebrate and get to know you, grow over time. It's about the emotional balance. So again, is this someone that you might meet in an outing that you go to, some celebration you go to, and sparks fly here? The Four of Wands is a fated, destined connection. Very spiritual connection in regards to what's best for you and what's best for them. Because it's destiny. It's the 1111. Again, this is a happy couple and a happy family, isn't it? And it's that world energy that you're in. So be open to new possibilities. And they don't forget they're in the eighth house. Transformation and mystery. Revealing parts of yourselves, getting to know each other over the time. Because what they are bringing towards you is a brand new beginning with the Ace of Wands. Very determined, very creative, very fiery and passionate. I really feel here you're both so ready for this because that lightening energy, if we think of the tower, for example, that's a sudden change, a sudden move, suddenly meeting someone, suddenly letting go of a situation to embrace the new. This is the energy that they're bringing towards you. Because the Ace of Wands is a brand new beginning. Now, Aces are never normally that far away. But what I really love for you, Pile 3, we've got the Two of Cups. This is a soulmate connection. Again, we've got Destiny, we've got Fated, and here we have the soulmate connection. What I always love about the Two of Cups is that both people have equal equal cups, equal feelings. One's handing to one to the other. 
So it's very balanced. And that is why I feel sparks are going to fly because you're both very much feeling the same. You're ready, they're ready. But it is, to some extent, very unexpected for the both of you. I feel we should find out a lot more, Pile 3. Please clarify Pile 3's person universe. The Six of Swords. The Two of Pentacles. Justice. The Five of Swords. What do we have at the bottom? The Queen of Wands. Focusing on the future, letting go of doubts and fears here, looking towards the future, not the past. She has the sunflower in her hand as well, which represents friendship, peace and joy. I would say this person's very, very determined to move forward because don't forget they are in the eighth house, which is transformation. Now, for some of you, it is someone who's moving on in a different place in their life now. They're moving on with that eighth house to more clarity, more determination with that eight, with the uh, six of swords. Because there's been a situation around them where it's been quite difficult. So they're gaining insight and clarity and more clarity in their mindset about what they want going forward. Now, I feel this is a journey that they're already on and it's almost like you suddenly meet each other and it's like, bam, it really changes because you can see this sudden unevent, a sudden unexpected event, this epiphany, if you like, it's almost like going to spin them on their feet. It's like, what do I do? We click, I like this person, I really like pile three, what do I do? But again, it's kind of destined because we've got that number eight of the infinity. So the two of pentacles is where we ask ourselves, which pathway should I take? What is it I actually want? That's why I really feel this is quite unexpected for the both of you. Because underneath the ace of wands, we've actually got justice. Now, this is one or two things. Maybe this is someone who is a friendship, a friend of yours, someone in your community where it's going to grow and expand because what their first initial action is underneath that ace of wands is to bring fairness and balance towards you. They really, really want to open up. Balance is where we feel, do you know what, let's give them time. Let's give them a quality. Let's be generous with our time because there was a situation that they've been in in the past where it wasn't. So that, again, is a high priority on this new beginning with you. They definitely could have that Libra energy. So there is an element of fairness and justice around them. That could be the mystery. Maybe that's a side of them that they don't perhaps talk about. It may be something they keep hidden from you initially. Once tr trust is gained, though, you will recognize, oh, I see why they're like that now. I understand why that's important for them. So I feel this person might have quite a lot of high priorities that are very dear to them where equality is involved. Because you can see underneath that two of cups, we've got the five of swords. Well, for some of you, this is someone who is attracted to you and it's causing tension for them. But for others of you, this is just a flow here of releasing the doubts, the fears, the lack of confidence because their sword is up. They're receiving guidance and clarity and it is all about how they feel in their mind. It's a thought pattern. So I feel we should get your advice here, Pile 3. Let's see how you feel about this a lot more because first and foremost, we do know you're in that free yourself, embracing your new cycle. Thank you, Universe. Please give your advice for Pile 3 regarding this connection. And how will they feel about this, please, going forward? King of Swords. Empress. Ace of Wands mirroring each other. Absolutely ready for a brand new chapter, Pile 3. The King of Swords is where you're very determined. You know, you've got a plan. You can see a vision now. You're actually seeing your pathway going forward. And that is that air energy because your sword is up, you're receiving guidance, you're feeling much stronger, you're on your throne with the crown. So I do feel a lot of insight. The wisdom that you've learned over the, over the years is carrying you forward because what the universe is saying here with that empress energy, you've got a lot of nurturing to give and to receive. There's a lot of expansion about to enter your life, which is going to really bring about a caring energy towards you. So again, is it you both mirroring each other with this Ace of Wands, you see? Your intention is the same, but maybe the journey's been really different. 
because the ace of wands is about a brand new beginning coming towards you which again is going to light your fire your new spark within that world energy but we just must remind ourselves you need to free yourself first of all with that doubts the fears allowing this just to unfold at the pace you feel happy with because as I was saying at the beginning it is almost like for me you suddenly meet each other sparks are flying and then it's almost like oh what do we do you know we need to meet again and then you exchange details and you meet again and that's where over time it's going to become equal but justice and fairness is one of their high priorities and over time you will open up you will tell each other situations but there is an element of mystery around them but you're okay you're very very secure in your energy that ace of wands is going to bring you that fiery new beginning romance getting to know her, gaining trust with each other it's almost like that spark is being lit back between you and them i would say to bring that passion into your life so it's very driven for the both of you let's get your oracle thank you universe what is your advice for pile three we have proceeding softly now that's perfect my inner power grows in the moment of quietude. I've never heard of that word, quietude. But my inner power grows in moments of quietness, I, sh I would probably say there, but proceeding softly. So you are proceeding softly and gently. You are so nurturing and caring that you are quite securing yourself is what I was feeling. Even though doubts and fears will definitely crop up, it does for everybody, but there's a way you will both find in regards to gaining that trust and fairness in order to grow and expand forward. Really have enjoyed your reading, Pile 3. Thank you so much for being here and I hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye, everybody.